A suburban grandmother is charged with the murder of her grandchild. Prosecutors say the six-month-old girl was apparently killed in her Oaklawn home located in the 6600 block of West 91st Street. ABC 7's Evelyn Holmes is live with more on that story. Evelyn. Well, Karen, no relatives of Alfreda Gadroids were present as she made her appearance in bond court this afternoon. And while authorities say the grandmother has confessed to killing her baby granddaughter, they have not given a motive for the crime. There'll be no bond for 61-year-old Alfreda Gadroids. The suburban woman remains behind bars after she's accused of using a sledgehammer and a carving knife to murder her six-month-old granddaughter. And then found out that... Uh, it was a baby, and we were just so sad. It just, it's not what anybody ever wants to hear. The Hennessys were among the residents of this Oak Lawn neighborhood where Gad Reutz lived to learn she's been charged with first-degree murder and the death of her granddaughter, Vivian Summers. We're not real close with the family. They're Polish-speaking, and uh, that's a little bit of a problem with us, but they're friendly saying hi, waving. This afternoon, a judge denied bail for Gadroids, who was provided a Polish-speaking interpreter in court. Authorities say the attack happened Sunday morning in the home Gadroids shares with her husband. Prosecutors say the infant, whose family lives in Bolingbrook, was brought to the home for a visit. And when Vivian's father and grandfather left the home briefly to help another relative who lives across the street with a rehab project, investigators say Gadroids killed the baby. The defendant took the victim off of the couch where she had been sleeping. The defendant placed the baby on the floor and retrieved a sledgehammer from her closet, which she had placed there the night before. The defendant then hit the victim repeatedly in the head and body with the sledgehammer. Since the victim was still crying and moving, the defendant then went into the kitchen and retrieved a large carving knife. The defendant then picked the victim up held her and then slit her throat with the knife. The child's grandfather returned to the home to make the gruesome discovery and called 911. Today, police won't comment on Gadroid's mental health or a motive for the baby's murder, which is the village's first in nearly 10 years. It's a tragedy. Our, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. This is going to be a very difficult time for everybody, and uh, including our officers and, and the people that uh, responded to the scene. Police are not giving many more details about their ongoing investigation. Gad Royce is due back in court on the 28th. Reporting live from the Cook County Courthouse here in Bridgeview, Evelyn Holmes, ABC 7 News. Alan, back to you. Okay, Evelyn, thanks. I'll take it from here.